Now then, it's another year and I've been improving the lighting in the workshop by adding some LEDs. Um, those of you who watched some previous videos will know that I uh, fixed a couple of down lighters just over the workbench. Absolutely brilliant. Um, if you remember, one had a duff capacitor and the other one seemed to be fine. Well, after a little while of using them, the one that seemed to be fine had the same symptoms, so I changed the same capacitor in that driver. So they're great now, and of course it's a white bright light, which helps a lot. Anyway, in that sort of scheme of things, we have this huge, let's see if I can get it in shot, LED. It's 40 watts, and it's nearly two foot square. 600 mil but you can't see the LEDs in this surface and I'm sure it's designed to go in those suspended ceilings in place of a roof or a ceiling tile um, there's a couple of them some of them flash a bit other ones don't work at all so I'm not sure how they um, how they where the LEDs are or anything so we're going to have an investigate. If we look on the back, and I'll just sort of zoom in and whatnot. So here's the back. And as you can see, the back's held on with a load of screws. Let's just have a look at the label. There we go. 45 watts apparently. 25 to 40 volts. Now I'm assuming these have been in a shop or a workshop or something and they've probably run for a long time. So, uh, I don't know. Big Clive talks about the black spot of death on, uh, on LEDs. So, uh, anyway, let's have an investigate. So that's all the screws out. Now this is quite thin. Sorry about that. Okay. So we've got red and a black, a black and a red. This is a sort of foamy sort of packing type stuff. It's about five mil thick. And then we've got a white layer. And a bit of plastic, clear plastic, and then a diffuser. So you might already have noticed, but let's zoom in. There's the LEDs. So it goes through that, that clear perspex layer and then through the diffuser. Surely that will keep the heat in. Because there's no air movement on the front of the LED. Although they are, that strip is glued to the aluminium frame. So, let's put some power into this and see what happens. It's a little jack socket there, so luckily 
that just fits in there. Now I chopped the uh, the connector off one of the other ones just to make sure of the polarity and as per normal the um, this will be a DC input so the positive is in the middle and the negatives on the outside. It's always worth checking. So let's just um, put the power supply on this. Turn it round. So here we go. Uh, turn the volts down. Switcher on. Ah. Okay, we've got a little glimmer. And nothing else. I'm not sure how these LEDs are wired up. Let's see how much voltage we're putting into it. We might need to put a bit more volts into it. So, um, 32 volts. Okay, it said maximum voltage 40. So, I've got another driver. So let's see if we can use that instead. So I've got the other driver on there. And now we're on 52 volts. So that's positive that end. So from there to there is... That's the same, 2.4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. If we go to 5, right, so it looks like there are four LEDs in parallel. So if I go across there, yeah, we could go a maximum of 3 volts. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there may be Ah, right. Let's get a jumper wire. And where were we? I need a pen. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Have we got a wire off? I don't think so. Aha. Right. Okay. So that's working, but the one before is not working either. That's probably a bit bright, but it seems like one, two, three, four. From there to there is um, we have a fault. Hopefully, you're catching all this. So let's just go from there to there. Nothing happens. But from there to there. Okay. And we've got some flickering up there. So we've got. These should be about 3 volts. And they should be about 20 milliamps each. So I put a um, resistor there across those duff LEDs just for purposes of investigation and it's about a 22 ohm resistor. So I'm thinking and here's the uh, calculator I'm thinking 
the LED should use 3 volts so 3 and there are 4 LEDs in parallel which should each be about 20 milliamps so we need to divide by 0 0.080 okay so that's 80 milliamps equals about 37 ohms so that's a 22 because that's what I've got and I think I've got another one I'll dig that out and if we look over here and we're moving over here now some of those have got the black spot of death and we see that we can just about see that so I'm going to short those ones out as well and hopefully this piece of strip will then work so there we go it's working a bit rough and ready but I suspect I will if I'm going to use these I shall just use them as they are undo those corners and just use that that strip as it is without all that extra diffusion and whatnot now let's have a look at the other side so this is in parallel with the other side so let's just turn the volts up And I can't see anything. So let's just see that we've got volts on across here. Got meter the wrong way around. There doesn't seem to be any volts there. Have we got something come off? Yes, we have. Let's just put this back on. Turn the volts down, turn the volts up, ah right we do have something there but I need to disconnect this side so we can see. Some of them are lit, they're just glowing, there should be somewhere a series of them with the black spot. So I'll just search that out and there's a bright one and then there's three there that have got a black spot in them and then the next lot are working I'll just jump that and just see what uh, with a bit of cable Where are we? From there to there. There we go. I think that one is part of this series. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I think I will short out all four of those. Yeah, because we got that one there. Well, mind you, I'm not sure. It goes out anyway, so we'll go from there to there. So we'll go from there to there with about a 30 ohm resistor or something like that. I'll see what I've got. So there we go. That's that side working as well. And we're working on
hopefully you can see that. 32 volts. So at least that's got that LED strip fixed and we found out what how these lights work. Hopefully that will inspire a few people. Catch up with you soon. Is like a mate of mine is going to be setting up some 12 volt stuff. So you could patch into here at the right place and use it direct off the 12 volt DC. So I was out this afternoon and I went to a parish hall and lo and behold when you look up there were some of these panels in there. So maybe they're not as unusual as I uh, uh, as I thought and uh, you just don't notice them.